What's good, kinfolk? It's the big homie, Screwface Capone, the gaming mobster in the building. It's Wednesday, so that means it's time for another edition of the Shark Tank. If you're new to my channel, the Shark Tank is my weekly segment where I look at a game's demo or beta, point out its strengths, along with any potential issues, then give it a rating based on how likely I am to buy it if it's released in its current state. All this month I'm doing horror themed games and this week we're taking a look at Necro Fugitive which is an upcoming action game from Black Garden Studios. In Necro Fugitive you play as a warrior who serves an elder god and you have to make your escape from a prison. That's right you're the bad guy this time and you got some pretty gnarly tricks up your sleeve. Chief among them is the ability to shapeshift. You have a series of melee attacks that's your primary form of combat. You can pull off combos, you can block, and you can dodge. You can even unlock additional attacks and abilities at the end of each level. Your attacks involve monstrous claws and tentacles, almost like Carnage from Marvel Spider-Man comics. Whenever you kill an enemy, you can assimilate them. This will increase your character's armor, and it lets you morph into their form for later. You can also use stealth. You can sneak up on enemies to kill them. You can extinguish candles and light sources to make it harder for guards to spot you from a distance. And you can use your shape shifting ability to disguise yourself. Be warned, guards may see through your disguise if you're not careful. When things get really hectic and your meter is full, you can activate a rage mode that transforms your character into a huge monster that can make short work of enemies. Stealth is crucial, especially early on. If you're not careful, the guards will spot you, sound an alarm, and before you know it, you'll have an entire army swarming upon you. The game promises artificial intelligence that can learn from your actions and will learn from your attacks, so no doubt this will add layers to the combat. I didn't notice it too much in the demo, but enemies did try to cut off my escape and counter me whenever they could. Also, it seemed as if enemies knew when to approach me, when to flee, and when to bring in backup. The graphics and animation do a great job nailing that gothic medieval atmosphere. Now I wouldn't put this on the level of something like Blasphemous or Dead Cells, but the animation is fluid and the backdrops are well detailed even if they feel somewhat a bit sparse. I didn't really see a whole lot about the story, but I imagine the full game will include a little bit of lore. The game kind of reminds me of Carrion, a game that I looked at a few years ago. While it doesn't have that same style of gameplay, it does have that theme of you being tasked to get somewhere and having a bunch of wickedly cool powers which you can use to do so. So I'm going to give this one a rating. I'll give this a B average. I didn't see anything glaringly wrong with it. If anything, it could use some mid-level checkpoints, but that's about it. Other than that, it brings something unique to the genre. The abilities will make it easy to customize your character to suit your playstyle, and if the artificial intelligence is implemented correctly, then the combat will add some variety to the game. It might even add some replay value if you choose to approach the game in a different way than you did the last time. Now I'm not sure where the developers are at in terms of the game's progress, but this is definitely a great start. And even among other side-scrolling action games, it offers something different, and that's the most important part. That wraps it up for this week's Shark Tank. If you like what you just watched, click the thumbs up icon. If you know of an upcoming indie game that I should look at, or you just want to let me know what you think about the video, let me know in the comments. My link tree is in the description so you can reach out to me on social media. I got TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and a Facebook group that I rarely use. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon that way you'll be the first to know whenever I put out new content. Earlier I mentioned Carrion, which is another dark action game where you play as the villain. While it has different gameplay and a different setting, 
it has a similar feeling of you being an unstoppable force of evil. Also, if you like these types of games, check out Moon Scars, which is a Metroidvania style game with Souls like elements. It's out now, and you can even get it for free if you subscribe to Game Pass. If you like what you see with Necrofugitive, these games will tide you over until it's released. You can learn more about them by clicking the videos that just popped up on your screen. In the meantime, have a great rest of your week. And until next time, I'm Audi 51000G, Ken folk.